Perspective Warp is one of the great new features now in Photoshop CC, which makes it easy to manipulate multiple perspectives in your image while keeping the rest of the image intact. With this you can correct complex distortions that can't be fixed with other tools, like turn a telephoto lens shot into a wide angle shot or vice versa, or even change the viewpoint from which the object is seen. So let me show you a couple of examples. First of all, it's good to know that perspective warp can be used as a smart filter. So whenever you want to use it non-destructively, it's good idea to first of all turn your image into a smart object. So just right click on it and choose convert to smart object and then go to the edit menu and choose perspective warp. Once you select that, you can choose between two options, layout and warp. And there's two keyboard shortcuts for it as well, L and W. Once you are in this tool, these keyboard shortcuts can switch between these two modes. And first of all, you have to be in layout mode to add the planes, the perspective planes. So you have to describe which area you would like to work with. I'm going to click and drag to draw one of the planes out. And then I'm going to adjust the corner points. So I would like to show a little bit more of this building. So for that, I'm going to make a little bit bigger um, plane here to make sure that I can adjust the whole uh, section and I just align all the lines properly. So that starts to look good, but I'm using all the lines here, even in the middle to make sure I adjust it the side properly. And then once I'm ready, I can draw another plane. And when I go close to the edge, I can see it's highlighted. That means I can attach these two planes together. So now they are attached and now I can make sure this also follows uh, the plane here, the other part of the building. I'm not worried about the tower because that's uh, uh, not a problem in this case. I just want to make sure that this part of the building is correctly set up. Yes, something like this will work. So now if I switch to warp mode or just simply press enter, then I can start playing with the sides. So now what we can do once we are in the warp mode is to drag these points around. And as you can see, they already start changing the perspective. So I can keep this side a little bit closer while stretching the other side out more. So that way I can see much more of the building, the other side of the building, and we can completely change the perspective. So if I press enter now, it will update my changes and we can have a look at before and after. So we can completely change the view of this building by using this feature, the perspective warp. And thanks to a smart filter, the way it works is completely non-destructive as well. So if I double click on it again, I will get the same uh, warp and mesh that we used. So let's have a look at another example now. We have this street and we see both sides of the street. But maybe I want to change later on the view and I would like to see a bit more of this side of the street. Now with this feature it's uh, possible with the perspective warp. So once again I start with a smart object and I go to edit perspective warp and I draw one side. So I'm going to align these lines trying to find the perspective of this part of the street something like that I can maybe drag this up a bit and then align it accordingly then I can draw the other side again I join the two together and then I just have to make sure that again I align everything properly something like this I'm looking at all the lines yeah, I think that will work. Maybe I can extend it a bit more to this way. And I think that will be good. So now if I press enter, we can zoom a bit closer. And one of the first things you can also do is to shift click on one of the vertical lines to make that completely straight. So that can also already help the way you look at the image. And uh, before I make any changes, I just press enter. So we can see before and after 
Okay, so we already corrected a bit of the distortion in this image. But now if I double click on it again, we can start moving this center line by dragging either the pinpoint on the top or on the bottom. And then we can see more of the other side of the street. So we can really change the view and we can decide which part of the street we would like to see more, either this one or the other one. So that's a really, really cool feature. And uh, obviously you can always retouch or add more details from the missing parts of the image. But with this feature, you can very easily define these planes and work with them. But apart from changing the view on a street, we can also use it to match and align different images, um, align the perspective in them. Like uh, this sports car, if I would like to make sure it looks like it's on this street or on this road, at uh, the moment we can tell that the perspective is off. What we can do is again use perspective warp on it. And I prepared this already, so I'm just going to turn on the smart object. And you can see before and after how with this feature it re makes it really easy to align it into the perspective of the road. And we can always make changes to it so we can uh, refine it thanks to uh, the smart object. So let's uh, see again before and after. And of course then we can always add shadow as well and just align it accordingly to the image. So that's one of the main new features in Photoshop CC called Perspective Warp.